Hello there folks and welcome back to No Man's Land as I was just okay in the draw bar. Yeah, just remember I left it on the rock picker. But it's quickly mentioned something before we hit three o'clock. I have set most of our productions to sell. Apart from the bakery and the flour mill here. Because everything else really we can just do a selling. And just saves having to go back and forth, back and forth with pallets and that. Because obviously we got, I you know, it reminds me. Let's not sell the chocolate. Oh, that was close. And how much was that? 30, 40 grand that went up? Well, of course, a lot of that was from excess stuff we had already in storage, like the maple syrup. Which we had at like, close to 3,000 litres. Where am I going? Over here because... We've started the ploughing. We've ploughed this field over here. And uh, what we need to do is plough this field. We need to also today put the grass in here that we ploughed up. So I thought I said it needs lime then. But now all these fields, they've been limed I'm pretty sure. We go to lime, get rid of fertilizing. Yeah, it's just the odd little patches here and there, but not too worried about that. But yeah, so on this field over here, basically one section of plowed field that we didn't seed that gave us some more stones, some proper red stones like Chunky Boys. And you can tell, like, these are the big stones here. Big stones, big stones, medium stones. As you go in, you get little stones. Like here, you get smaller stones. And that's the thing, that's going to be sort of the theme for today is just getting a ton of rocks in. Just see if we can get a bit more gold being produced. Technically, sort of cheating, not like we did last time where we just bought 100,000 litres off. Rocks now, but yeah, I think these are gonna be small ones as well. I think, but yeah, obviously, the main goal is gonna be that mega field over there. Get that done because we were not using that till February, so no harm in just you know, plow it, rock pick, and depending on how much rocks we get, maybe try rock picking again, perhaps. Put the times back up to times one speed. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get the worker to do this. We're going to hop into the. F I was going to say the fence, but no, the John Deere here. Because we need to grab the cedar. There's one over there, but that one is hasn't got seeds in it. Where did I put the other cedar to? Is it that sword? Pallets? No. That's a roller. Ah, it's over there. So let's go and grab that sec. There, there we go, we've got it. And I know, like, several episodes ago, I was about plowing this up and that, and it's sort of extending the field slightly. The reason why I haven't done it is just simply, didn't have time. Didn't have time to do it this year, just with rushing everything and that, just, it's one of those things, it happens. But yeah, so let's go and get this grass field. Done, shouldn't take too long, it's only literally one pass that needs to be done. Well, I did think about extending plot 45, but that field over there. There's a reason why we placed our truck and the goose and trader at 44. So I'm considering going to 44, then maybe up to 34 because 51 to 54 that's quite hilly over there 
I think it's like 35 and that is right. It's just a lot of trees. Now, to be honest, we've got a ton of trees over there that we need to cut down either this month or next month. But so, yeah, workers going to smash that out. And it's literally just one pass. Needs to do. Yeah, I was tempted about cutting up the, well, plowing up the grass field as well, but, yeah, let's just do, let's limit ourselves here a little bit. Well, yeah, as of just recording this, I noticed on Oxygen David's, Oxygen David's server that Court Farms has finally going to be submitted to be tested by Giants. Oxy said today, as of recording this episode on Thursday, this evening that it's going to be sent to Giants sometime in the next week. And with how the testing this is at the moment, which is currently 11 work days, so two weeks and a day because Giants work Mondays to Fridays, so they do weekends and that usually. Also, I know they've got events on as well, upcoming, I think, like PAX West, is it? Or. Yeah, PAX West, not East. <laughs> Speaking of which was East or West, but there's PAX West and that, I think it is. Again, I could be wrong on that part, but... So yeah, hopefully, if it's still 11 days and that, so we should see it within the next... 3 to 4 weeks, perhaps? And... Usually when maps are in console testing, in general, like America Falls... Is at the moment, it usually does pass and that, so... Touch wood and all that, rabbit's foot it passes testing and in theory it should do because it's gone through testing a few times and that for PC and that Aussie with the updates and that and that's what auction they've used it as just to build up get rid of any bugs and that that's been found on the map workers complete that task over there so get that sorted in a minute but yes I'm hopeful it comes I'm so looking forward to play court farms Yeah, it's going to be one of those maps where, yeah, I'll do this plays on it. But also, I'll have another save file just for my own personal purposes in my own time. It's one of those maps where I've just been watching like Dagwin, Chainsaw, and a few others. Um, Farm Sim Guy, Arthur Kaplan, and that, a few others. Or Campbell, sorry. It's just such a lovely map, and it's close to home for me as well personally so it's that sort of familiarity of um, actually playing the map close to your actually own town in that so absolutely looking forward to that. Uh, yeah theory we should roll this get that extra yield bonus and all that stuff. But yep so that is that done. We'll get the worker set off on here. We'll do the heads and on here quickly and then we'll start doing the rock picking I think on these fields here and then we'll move on to the mega fields
there we go. So we're in the next month now. We're in December. So from these three fields, we got 9,000 years of stones. So combine that with the 100 years of gold we already got. This is enough to get us another pallet of gold. So you know what? I'm just going to dump that in here. And we'd be getting about 14k or so per hour. However, the money's gone down a bit. First of all, we got sell these fl this flower first of all. So we'll get about 50 grand to explain part of my situation. Basically, we spent 30 grand on a liquid uh, silo as part of the warehouse package. That's mainly sort of water now because it may seem the time out, so I did buy some water, 250,000 euros. 425 grand for the greenhouses. Oh, there we go. Also, before the episode, I did spend, oh, what was it, about 32 grand on some strawberries. Because you weren't producing enough strawberries, so what I just done was bought a buckload of strawberries. So they're in storage at the moment, most of them are. But I have a plan for that. For the strawberries, it's basically just getting another greenhouse in. For the strawberries. About 50 grand? 54 grand. So, right then, if we head over here, see, we've got a liquid storage here. 142,000 years of water in there at the moment, so greenhouses took a 180,000 years between them. So, in terms of whatever stuff we've got to sell, really, it's not much at the moment because everything's been set to sell. Flower would keep on selling until. January and February, but we need to start saving that for the bread and cake production. Speaking of which, bread we can sell well, pretty much from now, but I'll wait until January so we can sell that and some cakes. I'm at 500. It will get up to about 6400. Close, and a bit rubbish at the moment. We'll wait until April to sell the clothes, I think, unless we need money over the winter and that. Honey, best time to sell that is in March. And chocolate is January, so we've got a few things to sell in January. Sorry, oh yeah, I have got no idea. She, what? We'll grab the Surrey now, sell it, because that looks like. Me peak around February time, January, February. Yeah, I'll try thinking, yeah, perhaps. Ooh, digest date, 1300 per thousand liters. I was even getting any manure from these cows. Which is a bit of a shame, I thought it would get some manure in that, I do have some, I do have some ideas coming up. Possibly, or I think about it in terms of our productions of basically skiing, not skiing it back, but just making it a bit more concise than that. So we'll let that fill up a sec here. There we go, that is 178,000 years. Do we have any in this side over here? Possibly. Yeah, for your so thousand years. But yeah, I know the fields he's weed in. But don't need to worry about that until the new year and that and such, so but yeah, we'll get a bit of money from this. And I think actually with all of this, we would have enough money. We'll have enough money for the new BGA and that. May look into it, see if there's any other modded BGAs in that. 
something like your typical BJ you see on most maps, but I think I just don't want the BJ, I want like the bunker side of the plan, just to make it look more aesthetically suiting. So I'm thinking about that, it's like most of this field of the air is going to be just gone, so what I may do is extend the field over a bit, perhaps, I'm not sure, but anywho, we'll go to the Surrey Yard. Also think about it, we do need more fields now, like things like chicken feeds. I want to get a bigger chicken coop. But yeah, I know. Oh, how much chickens we've got? Like 800? Yeah, so 1600 chickens. That ain't a small number. However, if we have a look, if I've got the mod enabled. Yeah, like the large chicken coop here, 2,000. No, there's a. Oh, this one here, 5,000. 5,000 chickens. Now, if you have a look at that, so at the placement. Yeah, it's going to be pretty much. So I'm trying to find out. Like, where the entrance is, is, so I think it's all here at the front that we can't see. Yeah, I think it's the front there, so I'm thinking I want to try to keep the field as undisturbed as possible, but we may have to. Perhaps what we could do is if my plan for what I'm going to do with the production chains work out well, well it will include bit of a spoiler, spoiler I will say, is another means of making clothes. So potentially we sell these two, transfer the chickens over, or just sell the chickens in... Nah. Yeah, I've got a few ideas, but it's got to mature first of all, don't jump into it, you know, so... Yeah, it's taking a bit, so we'll skip ahead to when this is completed. And there we go. Man, that's just over 900 grand. 143 grand. That's not even including the side issue we'll be selling. And I did figure out the issues with the. Uh, what was it? The bell storage and that for the bells and that. Thanks to Driver53 Gaming for. He had done this video a couple of months ago, but. Basically, where those because they are grass bells can convert it into silage bells. Yeah, that means it's sort of acting me as it's two lots, so like 400 bells once it's in storage. Because if we go to here, or okay, good cows, get cows onto the other side. How's our cows food doing? 62,000 here or so. I did top them up earlier, but. So we have a look here. Okay, they're still classified as grass bell, so a little bit left to ferment now. About another hour or so. However, if I want to remove them, let's say 25, too many bells, get one out. So basically, I think the game is thinking there's 400 bells, so obviously, there are some mods now, like the fermenter silo. Again. That's going to be another production chain. Basically, it's like, technically there's only one production chain we need to dominate everything. However, I may have like three production chains or four. So I do want the extended oil plant. So I know we've got the rock picking to do that today. However, I won't skip until these are silage bells. Okay, come on, it should be... Oh, great demand that cellar thing container. I feel I'll come back to that later, because I do want to burn daylight, because I do want to do things with the rock picking over there. But what is that great demand at the moment? Ah, I know, that's olive oil, Laurie, you know that. But what else is that great demand? 
Ah, it's cotton. Tempted, I am tempted, but still worth doing it as clothes. So, and already in the um, production chain, so can't really do anything about that. But anywho, back to the task at hand. And dang it, I forgot to turn this back on. Could have had a gold pallet by now. Yeah, I think in all digestic could go in there. Get some methane. Yeah, okay, that's back on the way. Oh, got some more pallets of cakes and all that. I think that's doing alright. I think for now what we'll do is well let that go down to the end of the day. But I do want to save some of that flower for the actual plants themselves, so but yeah, everything's said right. I wish yeah you know, actually for farm sim twenty five or whenever it's gonna be out. One thing I would like to have is like the change in menus where you can they have a drop down main section so rather than go all the way scrolling through all this you just go click let's say greenhouse have a drop down menu something like that but who knows so all corn I mean we've got cotton here right oh why are you making fabric jeez oh, god I know that now but yeah, so have a look. Sugar beet. Yeah, we've still got tons of sugar beet in that. Got plenty of eggs in here, so eggs soon need to come in here for a while. Yeah, 26,000 years. But yeah, so turn the corn oil back on. With the others, we're producing pallets of those, and we've been using it for mainly the green meal, but also. I'm just gonna start using it now for the chicken feed, so. But yeah, so, anyways, as I was saying, back to the main task of this episode is the rot picking. So, if we go over here, because we do have some large rocks at hand, and I'm pretty sure this will fill this up potentially if it does. Happy days, that's more gold for us. But yeah, so we have a look in here. Go to stones. I see. Got most of the stones picked up. If we go over here, again, I can't explain why there are certain bits that's small stones, and what there's other bits are like large stones. Perhaps it could have been when I did the rock picking last time. That I may off and just go skip some of it. Could that be the red ones? Because I did skip quite a bit last time. And that's why it's coming back up as red, perhaps. Not too sure. I've got to do a test on that, perhaps. Maybe another video I may do. So, I do you want to get back and do some of these testing videos I used to do? But yeah, you can tell these are large rocks. And if we go over here, we've got the little rocks. So we've basically got Papa, Papa Rocks and Kitty Rocks. And basically you get four times as much rocks or stones you'll get from the large rocks compared to the small ones. And thankfully with the help of fast farming, this will get done actually quite quickly. Yeah, we'll skip the edges a bit. I don't bother about the edges too much. But yeah, look at that already. Almost at a thousand liters. So once it gets to a thousand, we'll see where we are on the map. Oh, let's just get a rough ballpark. So yeah, easily. Fast gas. One, two, three. I guess about 175,000 years of rocks we'll get from this. 
more stones technically, but yeah, we're just making mince work out of this. And with the bigger rocks, we get more. So I think what I'll do is you see me doing the rock picking before. I'm gonna do some jump cuts and it will cut back. But basically, I should put it back to times one. So yeah, I'm gonna spend some time doing this. I want to get all the rocks picked up, and before we put this into the production, I'll bring things back just to see how many rocks we've got in the end, and then yeah, simply do a bit of a rinse and repeat. So yeah, I'm gonna spend some time doing this. Shall take too long if I avoid crashing every f five seconds. Yeah, so that's like rock picking out 40 miles an hour. It's like that control you normally have. Not so much. Actually, maybe. I meant 70,500 years, or 175,000 years, I meant. Yeah, 175,000 years. Wow. No. Meant 175 or 70,500. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll get us done and I'll see you folks. Well, for me, about half an hour's time or so, but for you lot, in a few seconds. And alright then, so, yeah, we've got actually a bit more than a full. First of all, I thought. 17.5, maybe 20,000 litres. Nope, almost 30,000 litres of stones. So that is almost on its own three pallets of gold. So not too bad. And we've gone and obviously ploughed this again. And we have a look. So the map update. And yes, all of it now is deep stone, redstone. So that big rocks and that. The yellows and that is from what I didn't pick up last time. There is a couple spots. I've got a spot there, a little strip there, and a patch over here that, despite plowing, well, it just won't give us any stones. Not sure why, but. You what? I'm not complaining, so... Let's put these in over here. But yeah, we're going to definitely have enough money for what I want to do next. And, ooh, looky here. We got our first pallet of gold. Well, first pallet of gold of the month. <laughs> The process of this means we can get 19,000 litres of gold a month. Obviously we didn't reach the start of this, so I think... If we can get... 8 pallets by tonight, won't be too bad. Because that's the thing, if you got 30,000 litres from this, or from last time, with this, I don't see why you can't double it, at least. And I'm actually quite serious. I've got 3,000 years last time. Yeah, 60,000 years is definitely within the ballpark reach. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spend some more time off camera. I'm going to get the rest of this done. I will meet up afterwards because I want to see where this goes from here, how much stones we can get potentially. Because I think it's well from cotton after you do the harvest. I know you don't know, it's sugar bean that where you got to do on the plowing again. But yeah, so I'll get us done. And once more, I'll see you folks in a few seconds. Well, there we are. So, not quite double from what we had previously. But still, 43,000 years. Ain't gonna complain about that. That is another 4,000 years of gold, so... Yeah, not complaining at all, so... Let's go and whack these into storage. 
in here and then get that converted to gold. Yeah, also, what well, yeah, did repair the equipment that way? So right then, clear a few pallets up and now. Yep, got a second pallet of gold. And we still got actually no, it's one thing. We need methane being produced. So I think we're gonna need a load of silage. So Okay, we've got wheat here, not for the cows, but just dump this in here and grab silage. Yeah, that too set my mind back the whole methane in that situation. So come on. Do we have any silage in here? Nope. I transferred all over to the other side, so there should be some already fermented or in the fermenter silo, so yeah, we'll go and grab those, and actually we could check on how everything's doing, because I did swap some hay over a bit in that, so 131,000 litres of hay oh wow, that is a lot of hay in there I think actually I have a bit too much hay funny enough, but yeah, we'll work out over time, we'll sell across January and February if needed but yeah, let's go and grab some delicious silage oh, let's go over here we'll put some surrey over a swell some sugar beets and all that. Wish actually we could take some sugar beet out from the other production chain. Oh, that one was over there. This should around the corner. But yeah, I wish we could take some of that sugar beet from the farm supply production and make use of it somewhere else, but... Actually, you know what? Swat tractor is a sec. There we go, so Surrey's going in. And Slide's just going in. But I actually tend to didn't need to do any of this because I've got a bunch of here already, so I've just turned that into distribution. Switch that off. Now we'll get some more methane. Since we're over here anyways. Got the Merlot. Let's go and sell some more pallets, but so I think one more thing we'll do in this episode is get some of the frozen done or frozen grass fields. And then next episode where we may be looking at buying or build a tanky building our own BGA, so Obviously you've got to do the herb side as well, we'll to do that over winter. There we go, grab those. Or, yeah, lose a bit of light now, so let's go in and actually wait and see what the morning brings. And we'll just do everything in the next episode in January, along with the fertilizing. We do in a sec here, so flower we'll take over here, get about another 4,800 or so, 5 grand. 
Ah, uh, close enough. But yeah, we got the self-propel spray here. Topped up with some fertilizer. So actually, let's go to our house. And we'll skip to the morning. And there we go, it's the next day. And we're gold. Nicely stacked up. That is seven pallets. Got one more one to be spawned out. Half here over to the bakery. Still got tons of cakes to sell now as well, so. I think what we should do, first of all. Let's just go ahead and sell everything. So, on this trailer, we've got 5,000 litres of flour, 27,000 litres of bread. There's one bread on top of the flour that ain't shrapped down, 8,000 litres of cakes, and 12,000 litres of chocolate. So, I know I did say the prices were slightly different between all of them, like between December and January. Yeah, like chocolate and that. We could have waited a bit longer than that, but... Oh no, we are in January, we're in January and February. <laughs> so, yep, so... Pretty even there. Now if we head to... Cakes, anything significant, farm shop. Sell every container. And you know what? I think we'll just sit with the farm shop. It ain't that much of a difference. Perhaps slightly better going to sell everything container, but I also want to get rid of these pallets because, yeah, it's a bit of a laggy mess it is. And ignore that accent plowing there. We actually got rid of some of the wheat fields. Oh, I have no idea how much we're going to get here. Father Gas Six Oh no, hundred and fifty, two hundred grand. Something like that. Probably more towards two hundred grand. There we go. And we're selling Come on, get everything in one go. Don't dang it, should be traitor. I'll try to turn that, so come on. There we go. That's it. Look, well, not quite support 1.25 mil, but. Yeah, it's about 175, 200, so smack bang in the middle. So then we can go and grab the rest of the cakes, bread and that, and any chocolates, so... And actually, I think that's where we'll leave it for today. Not sure if it's going to be a shorter or a longer episode, it's just how long I've been recording for. Like, this session here was... Yeah, almost five hours, so... Now we got the honey spawning up. So yeah, we're gonna have a, quite a few pads spawning. There's the other gold pallet. Is there anything in here? Strawberries, a ton of different varieties. Sugar, that is. Nope, so... We'll go on that front. So yeah, I'll get the rest of up, and I'll see you folks in a few moments.
ago, so yeah, that's that done. 21 grand for 3,000 litres of cakes. Get us filled up ready for the next load to tear more for the cows. But as I did, even a bit neglected, it did run out overnight, but it's only a couple of hours I didn't have any food, so it's not the end of the world. It's got minor tires. But yeah, still 817,000 years left. And I'm pretty sure it's still, what was it, about 75,000 years I said they're using a month, so. We're all, all good for, for TMR for now. Do need to amp up in the next year, so. Plan is for TMR now is. This grass, we're going to convert it into hay the first time in March or April. The next will be silage. And then hay again. And I'll try to keep that balanced. But also, since we're over here, are these done fermenting? Was it two months it take to ferment? Well, I'm sure it's going to be something like that, because otherwise... Yeah, okay, I'm getting a bit concerned about that, but hopefully it's just two months after wait. But yeah, so anyways, that is where we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that like button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.